Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing another mass kitting up event because that's how I have to go now if I want to keep up with all the ones that my mom wants to diamond paint. <laughs> so um, some of these I said I was going to do and some of these my mom said she would do so I don't know which one's which yet but we'll start with the big one. My mom said she actually wants to do this one. This one is a diamond painting of a corgi. Um, mainly got this because my sister has two corgis and I thought this looks like actually her older corgi. Um, I keep asking her to give me a picture of a corgi, of, of her corgi so I could make a diamond painting from it, but yeah, hasn't happened. So, so here is this first one here. There. Corgi. Um, I must have called it a corgi. Okay, there's the thing that says corgi. <laughs> I would have been like, no, I didn't call it a corgi. Um, so where's my measuring tape? So this corgi is from GBFKE. I did set, get this as a product review and hopefully the finish will actually be with the product review. 44 by 44 and a half. Is it 44 and a half? Yeah, 44 and a half by 44 and a half. So, so a little bit smaller than the 50 by 50. And my mom said she'd do it, so we will see. So there's 24 colors in this and it's round. There is a DMC code. And I'm kidding this up um, today. Had to get my phone just so that I could know what time, what day is today. February 6th. So I am kidding this up um, about two weeks before this is getting posted because I already have next week's kidding up video already recorded um, last week. So, and plus, you know, these things have to be ahead because that's only, that's how I would keep up, right? <laughs> So there's 24 colors in this one. It's actually this one in the baggies. Yeah, I don't know if they're in order, maybe. So I'm gonna use the Harbor Freight containers here. Um, there are 24 containers. Um, I, did, I do put like half of a roll from um, a diamond painting in here to hold it on and I, I actually put them I put the the pick the container sideways I know a lot of people put them in this way um, and then have it this way but I prefer this way since if I wanted to I could add three more so I am just going to cut the legend and use that as my cut the legend and use that as my Labels. And let's see. You know, I think I'm going to go see if there's another one of the diamond paintings I'm kidding up that I can cut at the same time. Because I'm going to use my Xyron sticker maker because I got from Darcy some some refills for it and I hadn't been using it much because my previous refill my previous um, repositionable ones got I ran out of it so I have two these ones I could fit this and then if I put another one which one of these are the longest um, and then I could well these two are very similar so I could just put it in together and not waste so much um, of my sticker paper. I'm still going to waste some because this one is much shorter, but I don't have any other ones with 24. So, and I don't know how to put in two strips unless I put this in and then put another strip in. But I only have two other ones and I could put those together, probably. So. Okay. 
let's put it through the sticker maker here. Um, yeah, I just got some refills for the repositionable. I wasn't liking, I, I, I had used up my roll for my repositionable and then I went and used the permanent adhesive that my um, sticker maker came with and I didn't, I don't like the permanent adhesive so much just because it, the, the adhesive on it is like weirdly gummy. So when I take it off, it's just like, I, I just didn't like it. So I, that's when I started using double-sided tape instead, which I kind of like also because it's cheaper to do. And if you're like me and are a cheap person or frugal-ish person, kind of like it when it's cheaper. <laughs> so I just, um, I guess I'm going to cut it this way just because there's not, not enough stuff to, I wonder, I'll just take it off and then restick it, right? So that I could have more, more, um, more, um, sticker paper to hold on to when I cut it into pieces. So. So I might just kind of go back and forth whether I use my Xyron sticker maker or my double-sided tape, depending on how I feel that day, you know? I'll be like, well, I used my Xyron sticker maker last week, and then I'll use my um, double-sided tape today instead. So I think today will be my Siren sticker maker. I might just do both for funsies. Just to change it up because when you do mass kitting ups, I don't know, you have to entertain yourself some way. <laughs> so since um, they're in the baggies and they might not necessarily be in order, I'm just going to... The DMC is on there so I don't need... I didn't need that first number. I don't tend to have that first number on, but I'm pondering if I should start including it, um, especially with how my mom diamond paints, <laughs> where she puts everything into a tray and, and then the trays are just all around her and she has the container on top of the tray with the drills. So it's, it's pretty much she has all the drills in trays, so if she needs one, it's already in a tray. And I know some people do work that way. I don't, but... My mom wants to, so you should see our dining room table. Like the dining room table is just because that's where she diamond paints. Cause um, she so then when we eat dinner, she just kind we just kind of have like this section that we eat like food, and then the but the diamond painting is taking up all the space. So so there. And, and then since my mom has been, she's been taking all my trays, so I, I'm going to use this other tray that I got. I, I think I got this, um, I don't remember. It, it's, it's in, I, I'm, I'm, I, I, did, I did like three unboxings this week, and these are diamond paintings from the three unboxings, and this was from one of the unboxings. It might have been GBFKE where this one's from. I don't recall anymore. Um, but I was like... She hasn't found my leaf tray yet, so, <laughs> so I'm just going to start from here. So this is 24, so it's in the, so 3865, so it's starting from the back. Um, it fits. I was actually kind of afraid. And these are actually the same size as my stuff for kitting down, so I'm actually going to keep it. And it's not the horribly thin bag, so... 3799. So I think it actually is in order. Um, just backwards. Well, the one on top is the, the later number, so it's just easier to start there. You know, I realize my Kogi picture isn't um, straight. And, oh, and I shouldn't be diamond pa I'm kidding up directly on top of this because it might cause some static. So let me move that aside there. Um... <laughs> And I do actually have a um, humidifier that I, I got on sale and 
I, I actually turn it on when I'm like before I start kidding up like for usually my kidding up video is one of my later videos I do mass video recordings so um, usually my kidding down is one of the last ones I do I actually usually do my kidding down I mean my kidding ups is one of the last ones I do I, I if I do a kidding down in the same weekend I usually do that first just so that I could have storage again um, I actually had a good amount of storage now so um, well I think good enough um, amount of storage so I didn't have to kit down for this video um, before doing this video so yay um, Probably because I did get more of these little individual containers from um, a viewer, Jeanette. So thank you, Jeanette, for sending me the storage. So, yeah, I didn't have to kip down to have more storage, although I do have to kip down soon. I actually, my, my, um, my, where I put my kidding, um, my, my cube storage um, container, where I put my, things to be kitted down. It's actually getting full. 3607. The next one is not 3607. So it's not in order. 17, 16, 15. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this and get the next one and then when I see it, I will go to it. So 3064, it's that one. Um, so 3607, which is the pink color, I don't see it yet, so. And then this one's 950. So they were kind of in order, but maybe one. Hopefully I'm not missing that color. If I am missing the color, I'm, I'll go look in my stash. Um, I don't think I, I need that much of it because 3607 is a pink and there's barely any pink in this corgi picture. It's probably the tongue. Um, but if I do notice it's missing, I'll write that down. And that could be a, something I could say, like I was missing a number. But I'm like, like I said, I if if I, I am missing it, I don't think I need that much of it. So I'll just get some for my stash. And hopefully I have some for my stash. You. you I don't actually, yeah, rounds, I, I'm, I'm usually kind of like, I may or may not have that color in, in my stash in rounds, so, but I'm already anticipating a problem when it might not be a problem and it actually might not be in here. And I didn't, when I, when I, um, do my unboxings for these things with the baggies, I don't tend to take them out, so, um, so it actually might be gone. So five, five, four. Yeah, I don't know if I see anything like super pink. Um, if based off of the 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 color on the canvas there, and the fact that I was like, wait, that's not the right color. So, so yeah, might be missing a color, which is why you should, but but, but I don't. Um, <laughs> so this do um inventory on your drills you know because especially these ones that don't come in the strip packaging um see i think the ones with the strip packaging you're more likely not to have missing drills unless you're missing a whole lot of them while these ones you actually i feel like are have a higher chance of having something missing because it just takes one bag to be missing so 414 for 13 lots of grays in this one's probably because it's the corgi is on like a stony is that stone no that's just like gray beach don't actually do dog pictures that much um <laughs> probably because i find the cat pictures cuter but i do like i just do i do like animal pictures so or maybe there's just more cat pictures. So this is actually 169. So might as well just do it. I don't have to do it in order. Oh, I don't know how to pour. It's a good thing these are big containers. So these are the Harbor Freight containers. 
if I didn't mention it. <laughs> They're actually in, like my one of my favorite dung painting storage. But um, since I've been doing a lot of the smaller ones, smaller diamond paintings recently, you haven't been seeing it as much. Um, and plus, it only it only fits so many drills. I mean, it fits only 27 of these containers at most, so anything with a lot of colors, I wouldn't end up using this. So two, two, five. There's a lot of this one. I'm hoping they fit. <laughs> so far, everything has fit. I do also notice when the drills come in these zip bags, sometimes I get a lot more, but I could just be, it could just be coincidence. I don't know. 317. So yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it's looking pretty slim for me having the 3607. Um, so yeah, I'm on my last color and then I guess I will check to see if everything else has stuff in it. But yeah, I think I am missing the 3607. I think I might have noticed it on the unboxing where I was trying to look for a pink. So yeah, there's the only thing missing is the 3607. So let me pause and get my storage. So this is where I keep my spare drills. And so if I had gotten this and paid for it, I would actually complain to the um, seller to send me the, the drills. But since I didn't, I'm just like, eh. So 3607, which is S, how much do I need of S? I only need a little bit, so this is just, the only S I see is just in the tongue and in the ear here. So, you know, I'm very tempted to just put in this one that's like not the right color. <laughs> or it's just like not the same as the stash color and use that. Or no, this other pink looks like more pinky. Um, yeah, uh, I do have enough of it that I'll just put some in here. I must have just kitted it down because it has my new, my newer bag. So that's probably plenty. So yeah, see, I have plenty. And I only need a little, little bit of it. So there you go. Um, and that's why I keep my drills. One, I can't, I can't throw them away. And two, I don't want to have to wait for the seller to send me the drills. So, so yep, that or that one's kitted up. Oh, and I should put in some sort of Thing to tell me what this down painting is. You know what, I'll just cut off the little thumbnail up here. And... There. We will just... Cut that off, and where's my tape? I'm just gonna get some tape here, and and add it to my container, so we could know what this is. It's not straight, but oh well. Um, I guess could fix it. I think it'll come off, and it'll restick. There. So the corgi picture. Okay. So next done painting. Since I already made stickers for that one, let's do that one. It's this one here. And let's see. So yeah, there are times you will actually not have the drills, and that's why I say, go do inventory. Um, 
So this one, we'll just use one of these ones, which is my individual containers here. Um, and I'm going to just cut these out to make the stickers. And I should make my journal entry. Okay, so this picture here and Y061, that's that drills. And what did I call this thing? Um, hmm, sunflowers and daffodils. Yeah, that's probably it. Um, because that's what this looks like to me, sunflowers and daffodils. Um, seems like completely opposite, um, what do you call that, seasons, but that's okay. So, sunflowers and daffodils there. And this is, because I like knowing, I don't know why, uh, 25 by... 44 and a half. So 25 by 44 and a half. And there is, based off of the crystal code, I'm guessing six rhinestones, one AB, and four specials. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six crystal rhinestones, one A, or two ABs. There's two ABs. There's two ABs and three specials. And there's 11 colors. This is a partial with poured glue. There is a crystal code um, and an AB. See, the 5200, it says it's 5200 AB, and then this one just says AB001, so it doesn't have a DMC number on there. And it is still being kitted up today, which is February 6th. <laughs> In case you want to know how long ago this video was recorded. Um, so, so I'm guessing I'm going to be able to put more than one into here. Um, huh, this, one, this, pic this one doesn't actually have a picture. So I, I guess I'm going to put in my... Um, it doesn't have a picture on the canvas. So this one is actually number 452. Because I will put in a label so that 452 so that I know which diamond painting this is and I usually would put it here um, on the first one so yeah what what should I talk about? Did I even talk about anything in the first part of the video? The, I got so distracted by running out of the drills. I don't even remember what I talked about in the first part of the video. Um, was I just talking about the kidding up? Man. <laughs> I don't even remember. Um, yep, no idea. Nothing. Nothing is coming back to my brain what I was talking about in the first part of the video. Well, so the um, the first picture I got was of the corgi, and that's because my sister has two corgis. Um, and I saw it and I was like, ooh, this looks like um, my sister's first corgi. The second corgi she has is a little bit more black um, in the first, so yeah, that one looks more like my sister's first corgi, which I'm still trying to get her to get, get me a picture of her corgis so I could do a custom. Um, and, but, but yeah, so what did I do this week? This week, this week, what did I, do? what was this week? The weeks just blur. Um, so, hmm. Work has been very busy, like, I've just, it's, yeah. When, when you're, when you're a supervisor, even if I'm temporarily supervisor, you just have so many more projects that you actually have to pay attention to because previously you didn't pay attention to them because they weren't your projects. Okay, it's not going to fit. Um, 
So then you... So then you don't pay attention until you're like, oh man, I actually have to care <laughs> about that project. Um, so yeah, I've been having to learn a lot more of everything else that's going on at my work that I did not pay attention to because I didn't need to pay attention to it. Um, okay, I'm just trying to find, I have a whole bunch of just random label paper that I just keep because I could use it for this se um, section here. It's just like the excess label paper that I just have. So, so yeah, work's been work's been weirdly crazy. Um, I I I had to fill in, so not so I. I, I got like a kind, I had to fill in for another supervisor too with last week, which is crazy because <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, um, the two, the two other supervisors, um, at my work were both on vacation at the same time. So guess who was left in charge? <laughs> yep. So then I was like, so someone was like, wait, you're in charge. I'm like, apparently. <laughs> Cause I, um, yeah, cause where I work, there's actually, um, we kind of share facilities with another, um, with another company, um, and, and, and we have like a sign in board in the front just because it's for, um, for what do you call that safety for, for in case there was an, fire drill or something, we do have a um, board in the front office that we share with another um, group that has, you know, all our names in there and, um, and well, apparently, because I was in charge of my, I was, I guess, in charge because the other two supervisors were gone, they were like, so they were like, you're in charge now? And I'm like, yep. Apparently, everyone went on vacation, and I was left in charge, so I was like, oh my gosh, I have to pay attention to everyone else now. I'm still trying to get my footing on, like, my own group's projects, and yeah. So, I mean, a lot of it was just, yeah. It, it, it was, like, kind of crazy, too, because um, someone at my work, um, someone in my group was, like, felt sick so then i was like oh my gosh please don't let it be covid please don't let it be covid because if if it was covid there would be like protocols we have to do and i'm just like oh man i don't want i don't want to have to deal with this while i'm supposed to be in charge because yeah luckily um it was not covid if she was just sick with something else but but you know she probably just had the flu or something but you know how the the covid has covid has just such um, normal symptoms that's like symptoms of everything else that that I was just like oh my gosh I didn't want to have to deal with it while I was in charge of the whole <laughs> section that I was like because then I would have to notify people in the building and things like that you know just things that just is just things you don't want to deal with um, but luckily like I said wasn't COVID. <laughs> so I was like, whoo, thank goodness. Um, and, and luckily, um, they were able to get like a test right away. Cause I know someone else in my group, um, had had such a hard time getting a test that, um, they ended up just staying home for the amount of quarantine days, and I'm just like, okay. Um, so the person may or may not have had COVID at all, but but I think at the time it was it was one of those crazy times where people were in like crazy long lines, and I think the crazy long lines have gone away. Um, so or I'll, as far as so yeah, we were. But I also read this article where um, 
folks were purposely not doing COVID tests because if they were positive, it would like they might get like fired from work. And now I'm thinking, is that even legal? At least in the U.S., um, things like that sound very illegal, right? That if you tested positive for COVID, that you would get um, fired. But, but yeah, I don't know. So wait, how many I have? One, 12, 13, 14. I have 14 more places. So these both have 12. Um, so I could probably fit this one. This one is pretty small. Or you know what? I won't use this one because... Um, these have the symbols and they might look different. So the other, my other things that I have aren't going to have, um, what do you call that? Um, DMCs, not DMCs. You, why can't I not think of words? They're not going to have, what do you call these? They are not going to, it's going to look different than those ones. So I do this basket thing here let's do this basket i think no there's 14 colors there might be 14 colors in this one so maybe not the basket um maybe this bunny i don't know oh this might have 15 colors so that's not going to be enough okay so maybe i will do these <laughs> because that's how it rolls and see this one looks like it might have 24 colors so yeah no so so yeah maybe i will have to just do these ones and they just have to look different enough from that. I guess they look different enough. But I'm going. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to highlight the colors green so that it could look different. Um, I'll do this one since I'm. I'm assuming it's not going to have that many colors. So I'm just going to highlight the colors green there so that um, when I put it on here, it will look different. Um, and hopefully that dries so that it you know while that's drying the green let's let's do my journal here so this is everything i unbox so that's why i'm like uh, where is it that one that's everything i unbox so it's not necessary i'm not necessarily going to diamond paint it or kit it up right now so this one is the it's actually probably this direction um moon mandala so why am i having such a hard time okay got it the moon mandala here And I guess I will be using the Xyron sticker maker for this one. Um, but wait, let's see. This is not that one. Not that one. So this one is from Fan Cells. Not that one. <laughs> it's actually the last one I pick up. This one is from Fan Cells. And it's a, let's see. 24 by 24 so 24 by 24 and it looks like there's it's a partial with port glue it looks like there's 12 colors and based off of the code it looks like there's seven crystal rhinestones one a b and four specials so and there is a crystal code it's kitted up today which is still 2-6-2022 and there's that one. And then I might as well cut this out if I'm going to use the Xyron sticker maker and I could do both of them at once. Hopefully, if it fits, I could do both of them at once. So I think the green is dry now, hopefully. My green highlighter. And that's just so that 
it could differentiate from that, which will be in the same container. And are they going to fit doing all of that to make them to be frugal on my sticker maker paper? There. Got that. And, okay, so, you know what, let's just cut it here and just leave it on the wider thing and just, just cut this one out. So I know I'm doing this one and then cut out the next one when I'm doing the next one. So, yeah, what was it? Yeah, work's been crazy. I've been giving a lot more responsibility. <laughs> and yep, it's yeah. I haven't been able to diamond paint as much. Tragedy. Okay. So wait, so this one is actually number 454. Um, and I'm just going to write it on here because I'm doing two and I wasn't able to put on the other one, so I'm just going to just still just use the sticker to figure that out. So I'm hoping that none of these need more than one. So then I could just use the 12 at the bottom. And if not, then I guess I'll have to shift and use those other ones. Where's number one? I do like that these are on much smaller um, bags because so much less plastic, right? We're already like, so, so like the, before these would be like, yeah, that big. So these are much smaller. So I do like that. So. So what was I talking about before? What was not, yeah, work, work. <sighs> you know, what's funny is a lot of my um, coworkers are on the verge of, retiring and I was like you know what if I had the if I was close enough to retirement age I would retire and then and then a lot of them are just like don't seem to want to retire um so yeah not not my I mean it would kind of suck if they retired because then I would have to find replacements um but but I was like, some people actually, like, will work, like, that much longer. I'm like, okay. Um, all I know, I, I think, I think, you know, that fire movement, the, um, what, what is it? Financially independent retire early. I think that might be the word. Um, thing might be more in the younger generation. I can't do it because I don't, I don't, I don't make enough money, um, to have done that. But, um, I know a lot of people are trying to achieve that where that you live really frugally or something and you save like what 90% of your income. And I'm like, that's nice. You know, if you were making six figures right after you've um, graduated college, but for the normal folks who did not graduate college and make six figures, um, it's not that doable. Um, unless you have done it, let me know. <laughs> Should I have not bought, bought all these diamond paintings? <laughs> and, and I swear, all the, all the articles about the people who retired early, and then they talk about like their they're not retired. They're still they're still making money from something. Like they might not be working a nine to five job, but is it really retired? Um, but yeah. I would love. Not. But then also, what would I be doing? Uh, my I don't know. 
I have this weird like thing where I'm thinking by the time I retire, um, either A, I'm not gonna get any any social security because they keep they keep saying that they're gonna run out of money on the social security, and I'm like, okay, so <laughs> that that's kind of sad, especially if you're paying into it, but you know, they keep saying the social security is going to run out of money, blah, blah, blah. And I can't really worry about it. So just going to just do what I can so that I won't be poor when I don't have a job. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, I'm surprised how long some of my coworkers have worked, but I think it might be a generation thing, or you know, there's where they want to actually keep working, or I don't know. I think it's me. I think a lot of my coworkers are main. I have mainly just kept working because they need the um, insurance. Because my workplace has a pension, um, and from talking to some of the people who have been there a long time, they're going to get a good amount of money in their pension, even if they retire early, um, because there's penalties for the early retirement on the pension, and I'm like, they're still going to get a good chunk of money. So it's mainly the health insurance. And my my weird thing in my brain is by the time I retire, A, um, the US might be completely broken. Or B, I'm thinking by the time I retire, that whole like universal healthcare thing will already be in place. Cause I feel like that's where lots of I feel like that's where we're going, even though who knows if it'll actually happen. <laughs> So that's my mentality. Maybe by the time I retire, <laughs> there'll be universal health care. So I'll actually be able to retire. Um, so next one we'll do is this parrot here. But yeah, no, I choose not to be too... Try not to worry too much about things I can't... So this is like one of my... Um, silhouette cutting failures, but I thought it was good enough that I'm just keeping the picture. <laughs> My silhouette cutting failure. Um, so what is this one called? I might have just called this flower, didn't I? Oh wait, I put lovebird. I call this the lovebird. So I oh I think when I when I Google search this picture because I do Google search my um, pictures for um, to check if you know I can actually show it and I'm not going to get some sort of like um, to do a reverse image search twenty four by thirty four. I think this they called this a lovebird. So I was like okay and then I looked up a picture of a lovebird um, and. Because I got pictures of lovebirds, and I was like, oh, that is really a lovebird. So 24 by 34, so this is a partial on poured glue. There are 12 colors, and based off of the thing here, it looks like there's 11 crystal co um, crystal rhinestones and one special, just based off of the code. So this one looks like it has lots of rhinestones, and GT211 is this one, and... And this one is four one four fifty three. And let's make a sticker that says four fifty three. Do I even have enough space? I ha it's just such a small sliver of sticker paper here that okay, that's four fifty three. I don't know, yeah, I have to cut this. So hopefully I cut this where it's not gonna completely fall apart here. So one thing about being frugal on the Zyron sticker maker is you just don't have as much space um, left 
on the piece of paper that was the stickers are sticking onto. So that's good enough. Everything is still connected. <laughs> So, what else have I been? Oh, I watched. I um, I, like I said, this is two weeks earlier. So the Olympics just started. Um, I've been watching pretty much. I start. I, I was glad I looked up when the Olympics was starting because I might have missed the first day. Um, because the first um, day where they were showing things was actually on Thursday instead of Friday, and that's because you know. It is taking place in China, so the time zone, at least compared to Pacific Standard Time, is much um, is you know they're way ahead in time. So the um, what was nice is some of the programs were were on you know at, at least live for for me. I mean, some of them started at like five something, so I was like, oh man. Um, I, but one good thing is I do work an early shift, so I work 6 a.m. to 3, um, so I'm used 3.30, so I'm usually done by, you know, in time that I could watch it, because I do like watching the Olympics, um, because I figure it's only once in a while I should watch it. I'm not really into sports, like, <laughs> I, I think... Yeah, I was thinking, I was like, I, you know, I, I said this was 2-6. Wait, let's see, there is a crystal code and it's still 2-6, 2022. And for whatever reason, I thought today was supposed to be the Super Bowl because I, I don't, I don't keep track. You know, the last time I watched the Super Bowl was like probably five years ago, uh, seven years ago. I don't know. Um, I only watch it if the local team that where I'm living is actually in it, and if I move, I don't I don't have like some loyalty to keep watching that team because I don't know, I just don't care <laughs> about football. So I was like, how are they gonna do the Olympics and the Super Bowl coverage? I don't know. But no, it's next week. Or would it have already passed by the time this video gets posted? I think it might have already passed by the time this video gets posted. So. I have no idea who won. I won't even know who won until I watch the news on Monday. <laughs> or I'll probably watch like Olympic coverage after it and um, and then I'll probably find out who won then because it was probably going to happen. It's going to go overtime and they're going to show the Super Bowl um, before they're going to show the Olympics. So I'll just find out who won from that. So good luck to whatever teams are in there. Um, because I certainly don't know. Um, I know someone um, sent me an email and said that it was their team, their local team or something that was in it. And I can't even remember what local team it was anymore. Because, <laughs> yeah, I know nothing about football. Um, I think I think the last time I watched the Super Bowl was when I was still living in, um, in San Francisco area. And the only reason I watched it is because the 49ers were in the Super Bowl at the time. And I didn't even real because so I, um, I didn't even, the only reason I watched it was just because they were in it. And then I feel like I was obligated to watch it because people would talk about it the next day um, at work. <laughs> oh man, am I messing up? See, this is number eight. Was there two number eights? Is this the same color? No. 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 I messed up somewhere. Okay, let me look at the baggies. There's probably two of the same color. So, so here's one, five, four, six, this is why I should not do seven, two. Oh, there's two number twos. Okay, now now I see. I see where I have gone wrong. So I have messed up already. So, okay. So what I'm gonna do is this one, number eight is number 73, which is still there. So I'm gonna move this to here and then keep moving the drills backwards 
until I get to number two here. Why am I failing at putting that straight? See, this is why I should not talk. Um, and this is why it annoys me, um, these ones with the symbols. The symbols are not the same color as the actual um, drills. So, like, I don't notice when I mess up because I mess up, apparently. 35. Okay. At least I'm hoping that's 35. And then this must be 195 because it was number two that had two. So here's 195. And then this should be 15 here. And these are both the same color. So there. Oh, I figured that out. That's so I figured it out too late. <laughs> It's because I'm talking about how I how much I don't know anything about the Super Bowl and the last time I watched it was when I was living in the San Francisco area and yeah I'm not gonna use this it's so tiny why am I using this minuscule label I had a bigger one let's see what is this one did I keep this for no reason Okay. Here, this one has more. Yeah, so. And, yep. So, me and football, not that interesting. I remember growing up and, like, you know, you would have, like, those obligatory, like, um, what do you call those? Super Bowl viewing parties and that my dad would get invited to and and then we would go and I just have zero interest <laughs> so number eight is number 73 so we're back on track maybe I should be adding this the, the first number in there so that I wouldn't but I think the reason I never put the first number in is what wouldn't fit on these containers Unless I put it on a diagonal. I guess I could um, put it on a diagonal. But nope. So. Uh, oops. So 191 is number 9. <laughs> Just making sure. Um, but yeah. I have been watching the Olympics. Um, I... I I get and I and I get I mean it's entertaining um, although the coverage kind of is annoying but um, with it jumping back and forth but I get why they're jumping back and forth because the a lot of the stuff they're showing is live and I'm actually kind of grateful that I'm in the Pacific Standard Time so when they're showing it here it's not super late um, so because you know I told you I work 6 a.m. so <laughs> I get up early um, so it being, um, not having, cause see, the problem is I remember growing up before, like they would show the Olympics that are, you know, somewhere else, they would show it not live. So then the best parts would, they would leave it until like the 10 PM to 11 PM, but you wouldn't know they were leaving it for the 10 PM to 11 PM because they would just be like, today we're going to be showing blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, and then it's already 10 p.m. and I'm like, I still haven't seen it. <laughs> but I usually enjoy watching, I, I like watching the, the Winter Olympics. Um, like, I've been, I, I just, the all of the sports actually kind of um, entertain me enough that I keep watching. So I think I got everything that's on canvases. So the next things I'm going to do is these ones which i think might actually have way more colors than i think so i will just find out how many colors there are in something so this one i don't even know which one this is which one is this one okay so this is this here 
So this is like a teacup and it's actually like double-sided. So you diamond paint both of them and then there's a hanging um, bird here. But I, what I did notice is the base is actually not diamond painted. So that's a first, at least for, for the first time I got one of those that had the diamond, the thing wasn't diamond painted. So here's the bird and the cup here. And yeah, I think this one might actually have a lot of colors. So um, even though I have what, 12, 15 on here, would I be able to fit it in there? I see a 22, so there could, and a 23, so there could be, tw oh, and I see a 24, so there could be 24 colors in this thing. I won't know until I open the thing. So what is this one is flower teacups, that's what I called it. Flower teacups. And what is this? I'll just measure it the widest. Looks like it's about 19 to by 29. And it's, I'm going to call it a fold because it looks pretty full. Um, and poured glue. And I don't know how many colors there are in this thing until I actually look at it. Let's see. And it looks like it's just numbered. So, so 22, 21, 20, 23, 24. So there could be 24. So let's see, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 um, crystal rhinestones, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 specials, and that is 24 colors. Um, there is no crystal code or anything, and it is still... Um, I believe 26, I had to look at my phone, would you, would you believe that? Um, 26, 20, 22. So this one actually will take a while because it's double-sided. So it's, yeah, it's not going to, wait, if there's 26 colors or 24 colors, will it fit in here? Or should I use my bigger, well, I think it'll fit. I don't think anything was... Was there anything that was, because I'll only have four that can fit the big one. Yeah, I think it'll fit. We will see. <laughs> or should I use my bigger, um, my bigger container? I guess we will see. I mean, I think... Yeah, no. I'm going to use my bigger container. So I'm going to use this container instead. Um, it has 28 um, containers, so I still only have four more, but I'm hoping that anything that was big would still fit in there. So I don't have any code to these, so I'm going to have to use labels. Um, so, I mean, I don't have any, so I'm going to use some labels here. Um, let's just use a new set here. So, um, I'm going to put teacups at the top. I, there's no point, I can't put the 441 because there's no indication that this is 441. And with this being double-sided, I can't do it. So this is teacup. And... I think there is just, they're just numbered one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Well, hopefully anything with the multiple digits aren't too small. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and then 24. 
and I'm just going to cut these in half because when you only have the number, man, I wrote 20 really big. So when you only have the number, you don't really need something massive, you know? So number one. But yeah, I just put it in the this slightly bigger one because I was thinking that there might be too many drills that have a little too much and I wouldn't be able to fit it in the little 28 drill container. Where's my bag here? There it is. Um, and so while this container will probably be overkill for um, pretty much most of the colors, I, I like having my drills just in one container. I don't like having them separated, so if I can, put them in to just one container all the more better um, so so yeah I've been watching the Olympics I do like to watch uh, my favorite one to watch is the figure skating I liked watching figure skating since I was a kid um, so I don't follow it religiously so I won't I don't know all the I don't know sports drama <laughs> And figure skating doesn't figure skating tend to have a lot of drama. I mean, there was the whole, like, I don't know, Nancy Kerrigan getting um, attacked by Tanya Harding kind of thing. Um, but, I, like I said, I don't, I don't follow all the controversy, but I find figure skating pretty to watch. Um, and it'll be done, right, by the time this video gets posted, so... Um, they are they are really emphasizing. I noticed because the, the team competition had just finished, at least from or not finished, but um, they the first um, the short program of the team competition had just finished, and um, they were they kept like do you know how many times they replayed Nathan Chen's like short program? Because I I was working from home on the Friday, and I just had the the TV on in the background so that it wasn't completely quiet and I swear I think um, they had replayed <laughs> Nathan Chen's like short program I don't know like three four times um, but but they were I, I remember the commentators were saying like oh yeah Russia is gonna win the the what they call that the team competition and it, it looks like from just the short program they are going to win it um, and then they kept saying um, that Russia's weak point is the, the male figure skater, but they, they seemed actually pretty darn good. So if that's their weak point, <laughs> then yeah. And then the, the female short program for the team competition, it was sad. Like how much higher the Russian girl was. Um, and the thing with, with um, watching the women's figure skating now, um, with um, the Russian girls being so good and then they're not repeating like the next Olympics it's like a completely different Russian girl <laughs> so it, it does I, I could see why Olympics were really focused on people who are repeat um, Olympians because you don't remember the folks at least me I'm really bad at names you don't remember them so unless they've been to more than one Olympics um, but yeah, no, the, the female competition for the Olympics seems kind of one-sided now because you, they, everyone's saying is the Russians are just going to win it all. So then what is everyone else, um, competing for fourth place? <laughs> but the men's competition looks a little bit like it might, there might be, a little bit more of an even feel, playing field because I mean although they are saying that Nathan Chen's gonna win it and we'll find out if I'm wrong <laughs> if that if they're wrong because this like I said I'm recording this two weeks before this is getting posted um, but the there is a lot more um, what's it called even playing field I think in the men's competition so that'll be more interesting 
I don't understand ice dance or what did they call it? Ice rhythm. No, ice. No, they called it rhythm skating. Um, I don't understand ice dance enough to know whether they're doing well or not. I watch it just for the entertainment value. But yeah, now that one, I have no idea how much better one is over the other. Um, and then the pair skating. Those are the people who are crazy. because, Or at least the female in the pair skating must have some sort of craziness in them. Because they're getting, they're willingly being lifted that high while on ice where people could just slip from just skating on it. <laughs> And then the female gets thrown to while doing a spin jump. Yeah, no, they, they, I think, I think they're just on the tad bit on the daredevil crazy side. So I give kudos to the, to the females of the pair skaters because for them to be willing to do that, I give them a thumbs up or I don't know, maybe a thumbs down because you'd be a little bit crazy. <laughs> well, at least I know I wouldn't be willing to be lifted in the air while on ice and then thrown so that they could do a even higher jump than everyone else is doing. I feel like the pair skaters don't get enough kudos because, you know, I think people are very like individual sports kind of thing, at least for, for figure skating. <laughs> so yeah, the pair skating is entertaining um, too. But yeah, um, but I usually was a bigger fan of the female figure skating because it just looks a lot more pretty. The males, I think, tend to kind of go for too many jumps with not enough prettiness. But then I think that's probably because they're the males. Um, but yeah, now I'm thinking, yeah, the, I think these four might have been over the amount that would have been able to fit on the 28. I might have been able to do it on the smaller container, but I figure I didn't want to have to do two containers. So I was just preempting it. And I think this one would have ended up having to be more than one container. So. And then I usually like watching the um, ice, um, not the, uh, the speed skating. Um, I don't know why I find it entertaining. I don't like the short track too much. I don't understand what's going on lots of times um, because it's just weirdly chaotic. So I usually just like watching the speed skating where there's just like two people there at the same time. Um, maybe I just don't like the chaos. <laughs> So, so yeah, and then the skiing, oh, I was watching, I don't know, I forgot what it was called, it was, it was um, the skiing where they were um, doing kind of cross-country skiing and then they were shooting targets, that's like the weirdest game to me, or like the weirdest event, like, I guess it's hard to shoot targets when you're tired, and, but it just seemed, it just, it was different. So here is the teacup. And then let's see, let's do the bunny here. Isn't it cute? It does come with a chain. So there's the bunny and I don't know how many colors in, is in this thing until I actually take this out. So there's the chain. Which is... So let's see. But yeah, I forgot what the, the sport where they're cross-country skiing and then they're shooting targets. And then if they miss a target, they have to take another lap. It's, it's, it's very strange to me, the... the what it's what is it even called like and how is it like well how did it come about um i think it's this one easter bunny i should have wrote like easter bunny with on with um what do you call that a 
fence or something. Um, because I was like, no, there's nothing else that it could be. So this thing is about 18 this way. Let's go up to the ears. Is it, wait, 28. I was like, by 19. 28 by 19. Okay. 28 by 19 here. It's pretty much full. Yeah, let's just call it full. It looks pretty full on poured glue. And I don't know how many colors there are on this thing because I have to go look this up. So, so one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yep. 15 crystal rhinestones, so 15 crystal rhinestones, and then 16, 17, 18. So, okay, so three specials, so there are 18 colors. There is no crystal code, and it's still 2-6-2022. So, 18. I think, this, I think this should fit on this line here. And... Let's start over here. So this one will use a red pen. And this one we're gonna call Bunny. And yep, so one. So what was what did I say? There was 18 colors. Okay, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, I should have just used that one, um, but oh well. And so that I'm not wasting labels. <laughs> okay, so yeah. I don't, I don't know what that sport is called, um, but it just seems like a strange premise where you're, you're cross-country skiing and then hitting targets. Um, but I guess it could be like um, symbolizing people hunting while in the snow. I don't know. I'm making things up. <laughs> But then, you know, do lots of sports make sense? I mean, what's up figure skating? Does it really make sense? <laughs> like, why did people decide to start skating that way? I don't know. So, and then like the short track speed skating, that makes no sense to me whatsoever. So do I have to actually know why they do things in certain sports? <laughs> Oh, so then, oh, so then yesterday I was watching, I think it was Moguls or something, and I, I don't get that one either. Like, how are they scored? Like, it made no sense because there's like a time factor, and then, I, and then there's this judging factor, so it's like how well they did the Moguls. Um, it was, it, yeah. So, in a lot of the sports where I'm like, I have no idea what's going on, I'm just watching them and... And then hope that I could gleam what in the world's happening. <laughs> and then, and then, like they were doing, um, I think it, they were snowboarding. It was I don't know what what kind of snowboarding it was, but it was snowboarding with tricks. Um, and it was like they were snowboarding down a really high hill that had like ramps and things like that. Um, and then. And then my mom's like, ooh, that one looks nice. They did really well. And then and then they would be scored. And then I'm like, okay, I guess the other tricks were harder than the other ones. But the problem with that one is, you know, it just takes one trick to bring you down. But it, it, at least I noticed they were doing the best of three. So it gives people the opportunity to go all out if, or at least more of a willing to take a risk and do something crazy because I feel like if everything if it was just like a one time down and, or all um, scores count people would do the tricks that they're that are safe um, as in like they know they'll be able to do it instead of try something that's a little bit crazier um, but no those, those were entertaining I don't know anything about how hard or easy some of the stuff is Everything looks hard. See, the thing is, if they're able to do it where it looks easy, I think they they accomplish something. 
Um, but you know it isn't easy. <laughs> and that's why they're in the Olympics and I'm just watching it on TV. So, and that's, and, and I pretend, I don't pretend to know what's going on. <laughs> Like, I still can't figure out, like, how um, the commentators could know which kind of jump the the figure skaters did because it goes so fast, but they must know what to look for. <laughs> and that's why they're the commentators and I'm just the one watching on TV. But, yeah. It was, it was, it's entertaining and... But what's kind of crazy is I would think that these athletes would probably, I don't know, if it was me, I'd be half, like, especially if you're, like, expected to win, I'd be crazy paranoid and, like, about possibly getting COVID because then if you test positive for COVID on the day where your, 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 um, event's gonna go on, then, oh, well, I guess you don't get to participate. So, yeah, if. If you were like one of the favorites to win, I'd just be like, I don't need to see anyone. I'm just gonna be in the room by myself. <laughs> because yeah, I think it would be like one of those, like my mom was telling me like in the Philippines, it was on the news or something, the bar exam or something for law, because I think she said that you just have to pass the bar exam and you, for the whole Philippines and it's for the whole Philippines, not like in the US where I think it's state by state, um, where if some people were not able to take it, even though, you know, they studied and all that stuff because they had a positive COVID test and then they are only um, doing the exam once a year or something. So they have to wait a whole year and I'd be like, oh my goodness. Especially if it if they had to take the COVID test within like two days of the exam and then they tested positive. You know, these people were studying like crazy already. So, so yeah. Can you imagine having to restudy because you weren't able to take it because you test? Yeah. I don't, I, yeah. So, and then can you imagine these people going to the Olympics like, they trained really hard to be at the Olympics and then um, and then they just happened to test positive for COVID because they can't really do their sport with a mask on. So yeah, that would be really sad, I think, for, for them. And then I was thinking in my brain, I was like, okay, the next, because the last two Olympics have been, you know, marred by um, COVID. So then I'm thinking the next Olympics is what the 2024 in France, I think. I forgot where in France. Um, but maybe it might have been Paris. Um, but I was thinking, is COVID still going to be around in 2024? I hope not. <laughs> but then we didn't think it would still be around in 2022. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a different times, a different times. So yeah, this is this one um, kitted up. I have one more. Let's see. Oops, one more. I think I might need a new container for that one too because I think I saw high numbers on there. So lots of colors for these specials. So let's see. This one, I still won't know how many are in there until I... So this one... Move that up. And I have one more container here. And... Let's see. I'm keeping those baggies so they're not horrible quality. Okay, so... Easter basket and see this one was a weird one on the site they were calling it a wall sticker so I thought it was going to be a decal um, you know that I could put on but it actually is actually solid 
here, and then they gave um, adhesive strips to uh, adhesive squares to put this on the wall. So yeah, this isn't what I thought it would be, but that's okay. It still looks nice, so I'll still still do it. Either me or my mom will do it. Oh, I put that sticker in not straight. Um, so yeah, I had it called Easter Basket Wall Sticker, even though I'm not sure if it would be a wall sticker. And let's see. It is... 34 by 32. It's actually a decent size. So 34 by 32. Oh, it actually is pretty much the size that it says here. So maybe um, it's more 32 by 33. I don't know. So it, I'm going to call this a full. It looks pretty full drill to me. Um, poured glue. I don't know how many colors there are. It's still 2-6-2022. Let's see. Let's see how many colors this thing has. So, let's see. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, it looks like 12 crystal rhinestone, 2 specials, and there are 14 colors in this one. Ooh, 14! Now, I, I think this one, 12, 13, 14, I think I might fit it in here. So, it might work out, and there is a no crystal code, so, so I might actually be able to fit this in here. Um, this one is, let's start down there, so this is going to be Easter basket, we'll just call it basket, or yeah, let's just call it Easter basket basket and this is just 1 through 14 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 let's see 12 13 and 14. So I'll have one label left on that thing here. And, oh, and over here. Okay. So I think, hopefully, I'll be able to just fit it into here. So let's just start on that one. Let's skip one. Oh, no, let's start on that one. because I do see some look a little bit fuller. So, Easter basket. And since it looks different than that one, then... And this one is from GBFKE. I don't... I'll put all the links below. I think there's like three different companies in this unboxing. Um, GBFKE, FG Normal, and Fancells. Um, because they all came at the same week. And I guess I could have made separate videos, but then it would have been too short, right? Because I can't seem to do kidding ups anymore that are, I don't know, less than an, than an hour. <laughs> and then when they are less than an hour, I'm like, this is too short. I need to go find more things to kid up. <laughs> because believe it or not, I actually have been kidding up off camera too. Because there's been times where my mom wanted to diamond paint something, but I didn't know she wanted to diamond paint it because it's something older in my stash. And so, like, she makes, she's like, I want to do this one. And then I kid it up off camera because at that point I'm just like, no, I'm not going to set up my camera to do it. And then it would be just like a 15 minute kidding up because that's how long usually most of the time a one diamond painting kidding up takes. Just the 15 minutes. Okay, let's hope that I don't have too many that need more than one because I'm not going to have space. Oops, this is, oh, that's, it's number four. So, so in case five, no, five is not going to need another one. So I guess that's a throwaway. Um, that one is a throwaway label, but that's okay. I might have to transfer these. 
but we will see. Yeah, because I think seven. Oh, no, I don't think it's going to fit. So, let's just stop because I already see these two are full that it's not going to fit. So, let's just move it to a new one. And... I have storage. I was just hoping to not have so many like partially empty storage. And so 14 is there. So what was I talking about? I have no idea. Oh yeah, the Olympics and how strange some of the events are. Like Okay, what other events are- I mean, curling! Now, there must be- I don't know anything about curling, but there must be, uh, like, a history of curling. That is just the weirdest sport to me. Like, you have this heavy, heavy, like, thingy- I don't even know what it's called. Um, that heavy iron-looking thing that gets pushed into a square or uh, into like a target or something and then they use brooms to help it get to somewhere. That is just the weirdest sport. Like someone made that up and once upon a time and I don't know how long it's been around. It's probably been around longer than figure skating. Um, <laughs> and, and people still enjoy doing it now. Um, <laughs> so it must be enjoyable. I mean, it looks, it's, it's strangely fascinating looking, um, that, I mean, it seems fascinating. So I'm going, I, I'm already anticipating I'm going to need another number seven. So, so yeah, it exists as a sport. <laughs> I, I can't figure skate. I can't skate. I tried it once and I was terrified. Um, I think it's because I tried the first time I tried it, I was already in high school. So, and I never tried it again. <laughs> so, nope, no talent in that. But, do, 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 are they actually on skates and curling? Too bad they don't ever show curling on, on, um, what's it called, NBC, because I think they show it on the cable networks, and I'm like, I don't, I'm not paying for cable, so I don't get to watch curling, um, but I kind of wish they would just show, like, one game on just the regular network TV. I don't know if it's a really long game. Is it, like, a really long game? Um, like, there's multiple, um, rounds but at least I don't think you yeah curling is one of those okay it exists and it still exists and people must still like doing it because it's still on the Olympics but yeah whoever came up with it, it But, you know, I guess there's all sorts of weird hobbies. And why not curling, right? But yeah, nope, nothing, no, nothing about curling. <laughs> See, I know nothing about these winter sports. Um, <laughs> I can't ski. Um, I've been tempted to try, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm, I think skiing takes skill, right? I've done... I've done snowshoeing, because <laughs> I think if you could walk, you could snowshoe. But yeah, snowshoeing, I've done that. No skiing, no snowboarding. So yeah, but now that I live in an area where you could, it's near enough that you can just find, like, near enough, you can go, like, just drive, 
like an hour and a half or something and you can get to snow. Um, not like where I was in California where you pretty much had to drive more like three hours away <laughs> to get to snow. Um, might be interesting to learn how to, I don't know, that just seems so scary. Last one! 14. This is a really pretty color. I don't know who's gonna do what. I know some of these I said I was going to do and some of them my mom was going to do. But then, you know, my mom has also said she would do ones and then she's like, I don't really want to do this one. I'm like, okay, I guess <laughs> you don't have to do it. <laughs> so I have a couple that are kitted up that didn't get done before the um, unboxing video got posted, but oh well. It'll just be one of those ones that's kitted up and if I'm ever bored enough to to do it, then it'll just get done eventually. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> I do have some dumb paintings that were kitted up more than a year ago that still haven't been finished, so <laughs> maybe I might be wrong. So there is everything kitted up um, in this video here. Um, and I only took an hour and 31 minutes, so yay! So um, that is all for today. So thank you very much for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye!